Good morning, everyone. We are in Zagreb, Croatia. In our last vlog, we took you on a Zagreb food tour. And today, we're going to be taking you on a walking tour of this wonderful city to show you the best sights. Our first stop of the day is at Otto and Frank. We're going to have breakfast here. Otto and Frank is located on, not going to pronounce the name of the street, but we'll link it down here. And this is a very cute street. It's got all kinds of cafes and restaurants. So if you're in Zagreb, you definitely have to eat at one of the cafes or even just take a stroll down the street. Just ordered and I got the Zagreb breakfast. It's the modern version of the traditional Zagreb breakfast. So it's with two crispy baked crumb covered poached eggs. Ali got the French toast with raspberry and peanut butter. 45 minutes later, still munching away. We just got done with breakfast. I really enjoyed it. It wasn't like normal French toast that are big and sloppy. This one was actually really good. Our next stop is we're gonna go to the Zagreb Cathedral. This is where we were approached by that tour guide who promised to show us the best sites that we won't be able to find. Hopefully we won't run into him now. <laughs> yeah, hopefully he's not there. <laughs> one of the main sites that you have to see when you come to Zagreb is the Zagreb Cathedral. It was damaged pretty badly by an earthquake. So as you can see, there's some scaffolding. They're trying to repair it. Also on the inside of the cathedral, I found this pretty interesting. There are some chandeliers in there that have come from Las Vegas. Well, we didn't see the tour guide. He's not waiting out here, but. I am kind of uh, disheartened. I was hoping he'd be here to hassle us and <laughs> tell us we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> If you want to see the cathedral, it's right by the Dolach Market. So if you're coming out of the market, head to the right and you, you can't miss the cathedral. I think it's one of the tallest buildings in Zagreb. It's 11.30 right now and we have 30 minutes to make our way to the Gritch Cannon. It goes off every single day at noon and we want to be there for that. We've just walked through the medieval stone gate and it's a popular place to come because they have a Virgin Mary shrine. So they have candles and people say prayers when they come to the stone gate. They've also got a bunch of tiles dedicated to the people who have passed. We've just made it to Lost Track Tower. Forgive my pronunciation. <laughs> the cannon's gonna go off in about five minutes. So we're gonna hang out here so we can we can catch that blowout, right, Al? Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna try and get the best spot because it's starting to fill up pretty quickly. We knew we were coming to hear the cannon go off at noon, but we didn't realize that the cannon would be as loud as it was. Kind of deafening, like my ears are kind of... Yeah, my ears are ringing right now. <laughs> And it just happened so quickly. I don't know what I was expecting. I thought there'd be some sort of parade or something, but it's just boom. <laughs> Poor Chloe. She's Chloe still, didn't know what it was. Chloe's still got some PTSD. <laughs> so but, definitely come here for nude. Or if you're just wandering around the city and you hear a loud boom, know that it's okay. It happens every day. Also behind us, if you're right across from the tower with the cannon, you can see the funicular and you can also get really good views of Zagreb. The cool thing about the funicular is that it's the world's shortest line. Yeah, I think it's like 60, 61, 62 seconds. So the ride is not long, but it's definitely an experience. It's the world's shortest funicular or longest escalator, depending on how you look at it. After you leave the tower, we recommend taking a walk down to Plateau Gradic. This area has fantastic views of the city. You can get nice views of the Zagreb Cathedral, and there's also some pretty cool street art here. So if you go left from the cannon, you can head down Strassmeyer Promenade. It's a really nice tree-lined area. It's got nice views of the city as well. We're gonna make our way down to the Gritch Tunnel. The entranceway to Gritch Tunnel is right outside of Gritch Park. So if you walk down the pathway, down Strassmeyer Promenade, you'll see the entrance right here. So we're about to go inside the tunnel. In World War II, this actually used to be a bomb shelter. Then it kind of got changed into a place where uh, raves took place and now it's just a pathway to get to places. The next stop is to go to St. Mark's Church but in order to go we have to go up that hill. Instead of walking up it we're gonna get that funicular. 
We're about to go on the world's shortest funicular ride. We just got onto the funicular. It is five kuna per person, and I think uh, we're the only ones there. That journey lasted approximately 30 seconds. If we did that on foot, it would have been a 10 minute stair climb. So kind of glad we took it. Definitely worth the 10 kuna. Now that we have reached the top, our next stop is St. Mark's Church. What makes this church special is the roof and the tiles. It has a mosaic type pattern. It's got the Zagreb emblem and I also think it has the coat of arms. Right by St. Mark's, there are gas lamps and every night someone goes around and lights every single one of them. It is now lunchtime. We're gonna go to a restaurant called Konoba Didavsan. Again, <laughs> forget my pronunciation, well, I'm gonna write it down here. It is actually right behind St. Mark's Church, however, something's happening so we kind of have to take a detour. But I'm excited to see what this restaurant has to offer. It's got Croatian cuisine and some of the recommendations are to try the grilled squid and grandma's pan. I love grilled squid <laughs> so I think uh, I'm going to be trying that out for sure. We come to the inside of the restaurant and it is so cute. They have tablecloths with hearts. They have garlic hanging up. It feels like I've been transported into a little Croatian village. We've just ordered our food and I'm going to get grilled squid with potatoes and Ali is going to have grandma's pan. So it's roasted chicken with vegetables. I think it's kind of a, it's kind of like a stew. Our food just came and it smells absolutely delicious. I don't know what I was expecting with the grandma's handmade tail, but this is going to be really good. It smells gorgeous. A mixture of vegetables, chicken, and a stew that has got so much flavor. It's kind of got like a salsa taste. Oh my god, that's really good! It does taste like home cooked grandma's food. The grilled squid, amazing! The squid has a really garlicky flavor, but it's grilled to perfection. Mm, even the potatoes are. Yeah, it's so good. The food was absolutely fantastic. Now the plan is to head towards the Museum of Broken Relationships. Hopefully, our story doesn't end up in there. <laughs> the food here was delicious. I highly recommend it. You have to come try out some local Croatian cuisine. I'm not entirely sure what oh, to expect. He's never entirely sure. Is he? Do you know what to expect from this museum? Yeah, I do. Okay. We are just at the entrance of the Museum of Broken Relationships. I'm not entirely sure what to expect. <laughs> like, uh... From what I've read, it seems like they have different uh, people's stories about funny things that happened, things, items that they've kept from uh, relationships that have ended, maybe some sad stories of broken relationships. But uh, we're going to go check it out. Zagreb is known to have some interesting museums. Kooky museum. Yeah, yeah, like the Museum of Hangovers, Broken Relationships. So we're going to go check this one out. We just got done with the Museum of Broken Relationships and it's a pretty cool building. It just has a bunch of different pieces of memory and artifacts and the stories that go along with it. Some of them were funny, some of them made us laugh out loud, some of them were sad and made me kind of tear up. Others were bizarre, we had no idea what they were talking about, but it's a pretty unique place. So if you're in Zagreb and you have some time, check it out. What was your funniest one? funniest one, the toaster. The toaster, <laughs> oh, so funny. that was so petty. I could definitely see Holly doing something like that. <laughs> the caption said, uh, that'll show you how you're going <laughs> to toast your bread. I like the one that, um, with the phone, uh, basically the story went that they've been apart for 300 days and she kept calling him and the guy oh, ended yeah. up giving his phone to her because he's like, I don't want to speak to you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was funny. funny. With the Museum of Broken Relationships, our final stop, 
our day out in Zagreb has come to an end. We hope that you've enjoyed our Zagreb video. We have new videos coming out on Tuesdays and Fridays. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Get your one-way ticket with us. Bye-bye.